and they spoke about underdogs yesterday. I don't think there's any more underdogs in this in, in this in this World Cup. Because a decision or a, a goal here or there, we could have been speaking differently now. But I think the whole of South Africa uh, should be very proud of this team. You know, I know they got up very early in the morning and everybody expected a victory. But they've also played against a very good side. We played against a side that was not expected to end top of their group and end the top of their group. Um, and we wish them all the best um, in the next round. But uh, um, we're just proud, disappointed of course, but really proud of the group of players. To the sponsors, I don't know how you can ignore something special like this. I don't know how you can not assist in getting us to climb the ladder and not assist in getting us to be better. We still have players like Kaylin having a nine to five job and then having to go train in the evening. I think that is unacceptable. For what this team has achieved, I think the corporate world needs to stand up and, and really take notice and, and be counted that to say that we are here. Otherwise, we're going to come back in four years' time and we're going to go through the same thing in four years' time and everybody's going to say how well this team played and because we, we could have gone further. When I looked at how the World Cup was going, the possibility of us winning it was there and it was there for everyone, you know. Um, so we urge the corporates to come on board, we urge the corporates to assist here, we urge the government even to, to step in and, and assist where, where they can push corporates to, to come on board because it's not just our senior team but it's our youth teams as well, there's no sponsors. So, you know, what do you expect when they go to tournaments and, they, and they're not uh, prepared because of a lack of resources?